I, these days, people in all kinds of fields are just trying to figure out how artificial intelligence can help them with their jobs. In Arizona, the tech is taking suspect sketches drawn by police officers to the next level. Gabriela Bacara takes a closer look at how it works. Using pencil to paper. Faces are very hard to capture sometimes. And a victim or witness's memory. Every drawing I start with is kind of just a mapping process. Forensic sketch artist Michael Bonacera can bring a simple description to life. From all the nose, eyes, ears, jaw uh, shape, it creates that one person. For decades, detectives have successfully found people of interest based on these sketches. Now Bonacera found a way to make these drawings even more realistic. The first one, it, it made my jaw drop. Like I was like, that is the person if I was to see an image in my mind of a real person from that sketch. With artificial intelligence, Bonacera asked ChatGPT to generate an image based on his sketch. He then shows it to the victim or witness who can make simple edits until it's just right. You can then ask it to age it five years, three years, ten years, and it's a swipe. Goodyear Police released its first AI-generated image to the public with hopes of identifying an attempted kidnapping suspect. It's not probable cause for us to, uh, to arrest somebody based off my drawing. Uh, and that's just always, that's, that's been around forever. It's just to get us to that possible lead so we could talk to that person. Bonacera says AI won't take his job. There has to be that interview process. Um, you have to have some skills to get on that piece of paper and then put it into the program to generate that image. But it will open doors for investigations, past and present. And we're gonna take cold cases, and these are from years and years ago that they didn't maybe identify these people with the drawing, but now taking it and making it a real person is, is huge.